I got R6 Yamato recently and there's a team that I want to showcase. I got a new high score for Sonica. My previous high score was around 87 million. Actually not this team. Uh, the team I ran was with uh, Shuen Pin. Yeah, my high scoring team was with Shuen Pin, but I'm going to showcase a different team which is running Daji instead. So the thing with R6 Yamato is that when he gets the Rashomon at the start of his turn, he will dispel all debuffs from your allies. The debuff dispelling is why he's uh, pretty good for Sonica, especially when you run him as the sole defender of the team, because then he will only have one stack of the Rashomon. And Sonica for Team 2 and Team 3, she only has AoE attacks, which means Yamato will always get attacked by Sonica and remove the Rashomon stack, and when he gets his turn, he's gonna get the Rashomon stacks back. Let me just show you the team real quick. I think it's better to give her the Harmony set, but my Calamity set is pretty insane. Look at this, like pretty much perfect gear for this 4 piece right here. And then you want her on counter set because Elif wants um, as many allies on the counter set so that she can pursue with her S1 and then S3 as well. And then Sachiko will be on the Ocean set. Yamato will be on Astro set, a lot of speed because you want him to constantly cleanse and also getting a bunch of turns as well. The thing with Elif is that you want your allies to take a bunch of turns. This team would be better if I had a Mateo instead of Daji. And then Feng Shun will be on a fast Thunder set. He doesn't need to be on Ocean Wave because Sonica already reduces your cooldown. I can't really go any higher than 90 million plus because I'm limited to my Liam. He's only R1. I'm soon to get his R2 from Club Wish. And my Tsuya is also not R2 so he doesn't get the additional turn. So I'm missing a lot of points from the Team 1. But yeah, with this team, I think the highest I've seen is 30 million, which is pretty crazy. For Sonica, there we go, 82 million, not bad. Yeah, it's pretty consistent to score above 20 million. Right now we have 26 million, above 26 million, roughly 27 million. That's very good already. For Sonica, getting above like 10 million in your team 2 or team 3 is already good enough. The Shuenpin team that I ran, I think my highest was uh, 25 million. Okay, this time around 15 million, which is still not that bad. Uh, the thing with Elif is that you don't really want to run her with too many units that provide attack buff because you want units that take turns and do damage as well. When I ran Shuenpin in the team, something like this, Shuenpin's S3 gives Elif an attack buff. When she gets the attack buff, she will only pursue with her S3 and not her S1. You want units like, um, for example, Mateo that attacks with all three of his skills, right? which then leads to Elif pursuing with her S1 and then potentially her S3 as well. Ooh, there we go, 88 million. Uh, we scored 17 million, not bad, not bad. Let me just get a good score on Team 3, and then I'll show you the run. There it is, broke high score, and yeah, not bad. 24 million again. Getting my Liam Resonance is taking a while because with the release of Sloan, like uh, a lot of people in my club is wishing for R2 Sloan and because of that getting my R2 Liam is taking uh, quite a long time. I think I'm at 47 or 46 ripples right now. Once I get his R2 I think I'm gonna change to Inferno Esper. I don't really need to wish for Sakura because I can get her um, resonance R6 through wish stones. So I think I'm probably just going to wish for another Inferno Esper, I don't really know who though. The reason why I didn't go for R6 Liam, even though he was available last week, is because he, while he is very important for Sonica, he is not that important for Retro Miracle or Desolate Lens. His R6 is pretty good for Shadow Fire, but that's about it, right? And in PvP, he's good, but he's not really game changing as R6 Sakura would be. R6 Sakura is one of the most busted unit in the game. If I had enough for both R6, I probably would go for, you know, both Liam R6 and also Sakura R6. But I don't, I don't think I have enough. Because right now I have 270 Wish Stones, including the Rezo Stone that I got from... I got really lucky, I got from the Lucky Wish thingy. Um, I got 50 from that. And then tomorrow, when the uh, Golden Scratch Off comes around, I'm gonna buy the pack. It costs like $5 to get at least 60 wish stones so that's gonna put me at um, 330 right now I'm at R1 Sakura so I would need 350 um, I should have enough I, I'll have enough um, summons to 
get the last 20 wish stones. All right, team three. So the reason why R6 Yamato works here is because the cleanse. Sonica is really annoying when you use Elif because Elif's weakness is buff block. When she gets buff block, she will not get the effects of Feng Shun. So she will not get the attack up or crit damage up and she will not pursue with her S3, right? So you need a constant cleanser and running R6 Yamato provides you with that constant cleanse because whenever he gets attacked, he will get a 20% AP boost and when he gets his turn, he's gonna get the Rashomon stack and cleanse all of your allies. Cleanse, fully cleanse by the way. So right here, AP up on Yamato, he's gonna get his turn right here and then he's gonna cleanse um, the buff block or all of the debuff on my Elif. And there we go, full cleanse. Now my Elif can start pursuiting with her S3 as well. And the hit count of Yamato is also very good. The thing with Sonica is I think you need 3 hits. The first 3 hits that you do will do like uh, reduce damage, like 90 or 80% less damage. And then the subsequent hits will do maximum damage. Yamato has 2 hits on his S1 and 3 hits on his S2. That's gonna help with the hit count and when Elif pursuit attack with her S1 or S3, she's gonna do maximum damage. Also part of the reason why you wanna run Mateo instead of Daji. The reason why I don't run a Mateo is because I don't have him. Daji only has single hit on her S3 but she's still very good because of the leader skill and also because of the debuff that she provides, right? Puppet art that she provides gives you additional damage. It's kind of like a seer debuff, but a little bit weaker. There we go, another cleanse from Yamato. Again, with Elif, you just want to run like units that are really fast. Units like Sachiko is very good because she gains AP whenever you crit. So she gains a bunch of turns. Units like Mateo as well. If you crit on the enemy with the debuff, he gains AP. And then for Forbitter, I think Osana is also going to be very good with uh, Elif because she has a 2 turn S3 cooldown that AP absorbs um, by 60% and she also does a lot of damage herself, right? I think I saw someone with an R6 Osana um, in Sonica but she's not really that good because with Sonica, it's all about like multi-hitting. If you're not multi-hitting, it's not really gonna do much. Alright, right now my Elif has speed down and buff block and my Yamato is about to get a turn. He's gonna cleanse all of that. Very good. Also, one more thing I forgot to mention about Yamato is his R2 also gives additional attack and defense. Uh, attack to fighter espers and defense to defender espers. So with this team, my Daji is getting 50% more attack. And my Elif is also getting 50% more attack. So they're doing a lot more damage. It's kind of like a budget R6 Sakura. But R6 Sakura is like leagues above R, uh, Yamato's R2. Because not only does she give speed, she gives attack, defense to all of your allies. Not just, you know, specific allies like Fighter or Defender Espers, right? And there we go. Everyone survived, not even close to dying. And this team scores around 25 to 30 million. These are my relics. Okay, my team 1 could be upgraded even further. Uh, I'm just limited to my Liam. There's not much I can do. And also my Chu Yao is not R2. So he doesn't get the additional turn. It does add a lot of points, like millions of points, by just getting R2 Chu Yao. I think my team 2, the highest I've seen is 10 million with this team. If I had R6 Sakura, I think it could go above like 15 million. Um, again, Daji, you probably want to use her on the Harmony set. But my Calamity set is just way too good. I need to put it on someone and it has to be Daji. Elif. It's on the Thunder set and Brawler. You can probably use Sachiko on the Harmony set as well. And then Yamato on the Astro set, you just want him to get a bunch of turns. And then Feng Shun on a speedy Thunder set. But yeah, that's about it. Ciao.